वेलकम टू नेल्सन इंग्लिश स्कूल स्टैंडर्ड फाइव सब्जेक्ट सोशल स्टडीज ज्योग्राफी लेसन नाइन आवर एनवायरनमेंट ऑल द फिजिकल सराउंडिंग्स ऑन अर्थ आर कॉल्ड एनवायरनमेंट द एनवायरनमेंट इंक्लूड्स एवरीथिंग लिविंग एंड एवरीथिंग नॉन लिविंग द नॉन लिविंग पार्ट ऑफ द एनवायरनमेंट हैज थ्री मेन पार्ट्स द एटमॉस्फेयर द हाइड्रोस्फेयर एंड द लिथोस्फेयर एंड द पार्ट ऑफ एनवायरनमेंट वेयर लाइफ हैपेंस इज कॉल्ड द बायोस्फेयर हाइड्रोस्फेयर ऑल द ओशंस एंड अदर बॉडीज ऑफ वाटर ऑन अर्थ make up the hydrosphere the hydrosphere includes the water in the air such as that in clouds water covers 71% of the earth's surface and the remaining 29% is land this is the reason why the earth is also known as the watery planet the water and the earth includes both sea and fresh water my dear student 96.5% of the earth's water is ocean and only 2.5% is fresh water sea water is salty and is found in oceans while other sources of fresh water are the rivers lakes and ponds rain is the main source of water water is constantly in motion due to the evaporation condensation and precipitation and this causes water cycle so let's understand how the water cycle happens During the daytime when it is very hot water evaporates from rivers lakes oceans etc and rises as water vapor into the atmosphere on cooling this water vapor changes back into the water droplets and falls on earth in the form of the rain this entire process of change from one form to another is known as the water cycle water is needed for several purposes such as drinking washing bathing cultivation of crops manufacturing things in industries etc waterways are one of the oldest and cheapest forms of transport fish and other marine life provides us with food currents found in oceans influence the climate of coastal regions and islands the atmosphere the atmosphere is the air the layer of nitrogen oxygen and other gases that surrounds earth my dear students take a deep breath what do you feel Do you feel a cool tingling sensation in your nostrils? Do you know what is it? It is air. Air is part of the atmosphere. Atmosphere is colorless and odorless. Its layer of gases surrounding the earth it is like a shield that protects the earth from the harmful rays of the sun. The atmosphere consists of number of gases and water vapor in various properties. It consists of nitrogen which is 78% and oxygen which is 21%. The other gases such as carbon dioxide, hydrogen, argon and helium are found in traces. Oxygen is the most important gas for survival. Carbon dioxide is needed by plants for making food. Water vapor in the atmosphere helps in controlling the temperature of a place and helps in the formation of rainfall. Life would not be possible without the atmosphere. lithosphere the lithosphere consists of the outer layer of earth this includes the crust and the solid outermost layer of the upper mantle it is the surface of the earth that is made up of solid rock and soil it is also known as the crust it is the thinnest layer of the earth it is thinner under the oceans and thicker under the continents below the lithosphere or crust we have two more layers called the mantle and core the mantle is the middle layer which is thicker than the crust but thinner than the core as we go to the deeper into the earth it gets hotter and hotter and the pressure increases the core has two parts outer core and inner core the outer core is liquid and the inner core is solid all the natural resources of the earth are found on the lithosphere which makes it is important biosphere it includes those parts of the atmosphere lithosphere and hydrosphere where life exists this is so because living organism cannot live without air water and land each living organism has its specific environment in which it exists and it is called habitat my dear students you can see in this picture the earth is a habitat of many living things like animals birds human being insects etc all living beings of an area plants animals and other creatures functioning together as a unit with 
their environment make an ecosystem the biosphere makes up very small parts of the earth's mass this is the layer that makes living on earth possible thank you